Hey guys, in today's video we're going to do a bit of Euclidean geometry. So we're given that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. So A, B, C, D is a parallelogram such that side line segment A, D is equal to line segment B, E. So these two line segments are equal in length. That's a given. We also given that angle A, the size of this angle is 124 degrees, and that line segment ED, line segment ED bisects angle BEF, angle BEF. So what that essentially means is it splits these two angles into equal parts. So to find, uh, to calculate with reasons the values of x and y we're going to have to find some of the unknowns in the given diagram and a good place to start is to find the unknowns in the parallelogram by using the properties of a parallelogram so let's run through a few properties the first thing to take note of is that pairs of opposite sides are equal in length so these two sides are equal in length and these two sides are equal in length and interior opposite angles are equal in size so if angle DAB is 124 degrees it would mean that angle DCB this angle here will also be 124 degrees so angle DAB is equal to DCB which is equal to 124 degrees and the reason is interior opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal so now it becomes easy to identify angle BCE by virtue of angles on a straight line adding up to 180 degrees so the sum of these two angles should give us 180 degrees so therefore angle BCE should be 56 degrees notice that these two line segments BC and BE are equal in length in triangle BCE so what we have here is an isosceles triangle so it would mean that this angle here should also be 56 degrees because base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal in size and earlier on we found out that line segment DE bisects this angle here into two parts so if this angle is 56 it would mean that this angle should also be 56 degrees so you might as well note that already so now it becomes easy to find angle X because by the property of sum of interior angles of a triangle adding to 180 degrees so we can write that as follows and if we solve for x we get x to be equal to 68 degrees and using the same property we can find the value of y by the property of sum of interior angles of a triangle heading up to 180 degrees so that can be written as follows notice this is a right angle so that's 90 degrees This should give us 180 degrees and solving for y we get y to be equals to 34 degrees thank you guys for watching